Okay, so the next portion of artifacts that we're going to cover uh, will be execution. So there's two services that we're going to start with, and that is the BAM, or the Background Activity Moderator, or the DAM, Desktop Activity Moderator. Now these are services that control the activity of the background of applications. Uh, so you can see from like background activity, uh, same thing uh, for DAM, uh, it's just for desktop applications. So these are lesser known services and the reason for that is because it came out in Windows 10 after the fall update version 1709. What's so great about the BAM? Uh, well, uh, it stores a full path of the executable file that was run on a system as well as the last execution date and time. Uh, so really, really great artifact for uh, instant investigators. Another less known interesting proof of execution is WMI Events Description Artifacts. So you have probably heard of fileless malware. You know, malware that is actually never stored on a computer. And it's used with WMI sometimes. Uh, and so the way that this works is uh, whenever it, it you know, it needs that persistence. Uh, it'll stand up the, the WMI. Uh, it'll download what it needs to remove that uh, from download uh, immediately. Uh, and so it only persists within memory, which obviously makes it uh, less noticeable to an instant investigator or a regular user uh, for that matter. If you're interested in hearing more about this uh, method of execution utilizing WMI for the fileless malware, uh, there's a very long link. Uh, it's PDF that is on this slide, uh, so you can browse to this for more information on this technique. Okay, next is some non-standard registry files that can be used for execution, uh, such as the AM cache, uh, you can also learn about shim cache uh, with the link that's here, uh, as well as syscache. So AM cache stores the data about executed apps. Uh, again, there's a link here, uh, where you can learn more about AM cache, and um, you can also learn about shim cache here in this link. Now, syscache uh, does not really have a clear purpose, uh, but there's stores execution of of applications. So uh, there's something uh, about uh, software restriction policies as well as the application locker uh, that can be viewed. And finally, here we have remote connections. So these are registry based. Uh, how is this going to help us? Well, the registry stores remote connection data. Uh, where did this connection come from? Who did it connect to? Uh, how many computers were connected to this one? And of course, the ntuser.dat or dat within there, the software Microsoft terminal server client default. Uh, this will help you understand what remote computers connected to the victim and vice versa. <laughs> 